Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legoli3, Chinagan here, and as I promised, sorry it took me so long, I reviewed another Creo set. This is Creo Star Trek set, Spock's Volcano Mission, and it retails for about $15, has 141 pieces. Here's a front look at your box. I must say this is a really, really large box, about the same size as a typical $30 Lego set. So Creo's boxes are a lot bigger than Legos, which is kind of an interesting thing. There's the back of your box. This set includes one instruction manual with 29 pages of building. First up for our Creons here is Sulu, and this is a flawed figure, but he's a really cool figure, definitely a must-have character from the Star Trek series, but the problem with him is in this scene in the movie, he's not wearing this particular outfit, he's wearing a more like advanced outfit, so not really sure why they included this particular outfit with him, and also on the box it shows him with a phaser, and this set does not include a phaser, so that's really stupid and lame, but pretty cool. You can see Sulu has absolutely no detail from the back. Next Creon here is Spock, and this character is not exclusive, but this version of the figure is. He looks pretty cool. It's not completely accurate to the movie. I believe his suit was a little bit of a darker red, more orangish color, but still looks pretty cool. It's a nice detail right there. You can see his head printing underneath his helmet. Unfortunately, they do not include his hair piece. His hair is just kind of printed onto his head, which looks a little bit odd, but it's still pretty cool. And like Sulu, he doesn't really have any detail from the back. Now, I was really curious by the small number of pieces in this set, considering you got such a big rock piece. I was wondering, like, wow, this, this ship must not have very many pieces, and then I figured out, oh, wait. This entire rock piece is one big piece molded to look like a bunch of smaller pieces put together. Really lazy by Creo's part. I mean, it looks good. It's got some cool detail. I like the fire detail, but just one piece? Come on, Creo. It's just there's no building involved. There's just one giant piece. If I can show you from the bottom right there, you can see just one big burp piece, which I really just don't like. It does have a small plate feature though. The feature is basically if you push on this brown piece right here, it will fire these little red studs. You get quite a few studs. They're really easy to lose, so that's unfortunate. But you do get like seven or so of these studs. I have like five right here. I told you they're really easy to lose and they kind of get stuck underneath there too. And it's kind of a weird design because this is really, really loose. It kind of just like sits in there. So I think they could have done a better job with that design. And also you can't really put the figure on here anyway, anywhere. I mean, in the movie Spock lands on some rock, but this, you can't really do that. I mean, you can kind of put them there or buy it, but I wish they'd include a little bit of platform for Spock to stand on. It's still pretty cool. Just kind of wish it was a little bit more brick built, but still a pretty cool little accessory. Here is the main part of the set, the shuttle. I do want to mention a couple little extra pieces you get with this thing. You do get one of those Creo blocks, which is pretty cool. And you also get these pieces here, which are kind of random. They tell you to put these on the bottom while you're building this shuttle to kind of keep itself balanced, which is kind of weird. They do fall off a lot when you're building it and you take them off at the very end. So it's kind of an interesting technique. Lego does not do that. So Creo is doing something a little bit more original there, which I kind of like random pieces, but it does kick up parts of the piece count, which I don't like because you don't really use them in the set. But they are extra pieces, which is pretty cool. Here is the shuttle itself. It's got some pretty cool detail you can see on the side there. Nice snot design, which I really like. Creo has definitely gotten better with their designs from when they were in the beginning. And also some cool sticker details right there. It says NCC 1701. Really cool. I really like the detail. That's what it looks like from the front. That is what it looks like from the back. Right off the bat, you can probably see a problem here. It does not, it just kind of cuts off right there and leaves a really big gap, which I mean, it's kind of accurate, but not completely, and it does look really ugly. There's also some big air holes back here. So these people are definitely not going to be surviving inside a volcano or, you know, in space or anything with this kind of vehicle. It's definitely not compact enough. Also, I do like the added detail of these being windscreens, but you can't see through them. They're just added there for detail, which is kind of lazy, uh, but it's pretty good. Also, the snot is pretty cool, but the, they don't use enough pieces, so these can actually fall off if you play around with it. It's a little bit too rough. The piece on the front right here it actually looks pretty cool, and you can easily lift this cockpit up. I really like the way that cockpit moves. It's really smooth. It definitely doesn't click into anything. It's really It stays in place well, so I really like that. The inside here is pretty bland. There's no controls. I wish they even put, like, they could have just put a sticker or some joysticks or something. Absolutely no controls, but you can... You can fit Sulu in right there and it looks pretty cool. See the top right here, a cool thing about the top is you can actually lift this up. This is a little bit more loose, kind of wish they made that a little bit tighter. But you can see inside that this piece down here, I'll talk about that in just a second. You can see the design in here is a little bit funky and not really sure why they leave some gaps there, which I don't really like. But you can kind of just stuff Spock in from there, which is pretty cool. It does close, so there's a nice amount of room. You can definitely fit a couple figures back there. The main feature of this set basically involves quite a few things. In the movie, Spock drops down from this vehicle down into the volcano. Basically, you have this string right here that Spock can hold on to, which is pretty cool. You don't really actually get the cold fusion device that he uses in the movie. I really wish they had made a piece for that and included that. That would have been really cool. But you can drop Spock down, which is pretty cool from this ramp. This ramp, though, is really, really loose. And basically, if you don't have the string in the right position, this ramp will fall down constantly. What I do basically is I get this string and make it just grab itself right there or if you really want to if you have a laying around piece this is a lego brick right here you can definitely you know get some close it up if you really felt like it but it's definitely a flawed design on creo's part 
Now the main feature of this tech here is basically if you push that red button, it will light this thing up, which is pretty cool. It's a very powerful light, which I do like a lot. You can see here, this is not dark in here at all. It's very bright, so it's really lighting up well. Also, if you push it here, it kind of lights up and illuminates the entire room, which is pretty cool. So I do like that feature about this set. All right, guys, Final British here on Spock's Volcano Mission. I actually like this set a lot. It's a cool vehicle. I think it's a good value for $15. And really, if you can only afford like a smaller set from this Creole line, it's definitely the one that's more exciting. You get a cool vehicle. The other smaller sets are kind of just little small play scenes. This is definitely a better set to get than those. I do like the light brick. It is very flawed, though. So that reason, it's going to get a 7.7 .7 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed my review, and I'll see you guys next time. Please like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Bye.